Modern Technologies of Diagnosis and Treatment of Living Cells Part 5 Fundamental Principles of Bioelectric and Bioelectromagnetic Treatment of Cancer Abstract Bioelectromagnetic treatment of cancer cells is based on four fundamental principles. 1. Creating balanced cell. 2. Activating cellular suicide command. 3. Strengthening the energy centers in the cell. 4. Running the program of special treatment. Keywords. Cellular. Suicide. Command. Introduction. Treatment of cancerous cells is different with regards to their types. Also, it's different to each sex with regards to their specific function in males and females. Note, the treatment of cancerous cells means to activate cellular suicide command and thus push them out of the cellular cycle of the living being. A cancer patient often faces three basic problems. 1. The complete imbalance of the cell that helps create cancerous cells. 2 the cancerous cells that live in the body. 3. The damage the cancerous cells inflict on the organs of the living being. The treatment of cancer patients can get through by following the plan below. 1. Creating cellular balance to prevent the production of new cancerous cells from healthy cells. 2. Activating cellular suicide command in order to eliminate the cancerous cells which have sheltered in the patient's body. 3 strengthening the energy centers in the cell to compensate for the damage caused by cancerous cells. 4. Implementing the specialized treatment plan to repair the irreparable damage. We will also explain how to activate the cell suicide bioelectromagnetic command. In the meantime, the other parts have been elaborated in the section of the fundamental bioelectromagnetic treatment of cells. A. To activate the cellular suicide command in cancerous cells, having an overall positive bioelectromagnetic charge. It works in two forms. 1. Increasing the negative bioelectromagnetic charge of the cells. 2. Absorbing the positive bioelectromagnetic charge of the cells. B. To activate the cellular suicide command in the cells with an overall negative charge. It also acts in two forms. 1. Increasing the positive bioelectromagnetic charge. 2. Absorbing the negative bioelectromagnetic charge. C. To activate the cellular suicide command act in compound cells. It functions in two forms. 1. Increasing the cellular negative bioelectromagnetic charge and absorbing its positive bioelectromagnetic charge. 2. Increasing the cellular positive bioelectromagnetic charge and absorbing its negative bioelectromagnetic charge. The arrangement of the performing program in the cells can be as follows. 1. By running the plan number 1, we wait until the overall positive bioelectromagnetic cells commit suicide. Then we make plan number 2 function until the cells that have overall negative bioelectromagnetic charge commit suicide. 2. The implementation of the two plans should be very accurate and calculated in order to prevent the growth of the opposite group when a group which has the negative or positive bioelectromagnetic charge commits suicide. The compound cancerous cells are usually the most aggressive ones and their treatment is very complicated and hard because when the cancerous cells which have positive bioelectromagnetic charge are controlled the cancerous cells which have negative bioelectromagnetic charge are free and can easily grow. On the opposite side, when the negative group is controlled, the positive group grows independently. The schedule of cell control plan should be in a way that produces maximum productivity for the destruction of the target cells and a minimum freedom for the opposite group. The cell's confrontation capacity and resistance to cellular death and treatment should be investigated and calculated exactly and be included in the main plan. One of the most important points of the treatment program of the cancerous cells is its repeatability. Not all the cancerous cells may exit the circuit within a single treatment period. Therefore, we have to repeat the treatment. The cancerous cells use the cellular adaptation law against the repeat treatment programs and highly resist the repeat treatment. They will be usually successful. 
The treatment programs should be adjusted in a way that does not create the cellular adaptation in order to solve the big problem. So the program should be classified on the basis of influence. Hence, the treatment should start with the lowest power and gradually increase its level in the repeated runs. If the cancerous cells exit the circuit with a full period of treatment that begins from the lowest to the highest levels, we end the program. If some cancerous cells remain active in spite of full period of treatment, the second phase of treatment should start, repeating from the lowest to the highest levels. Considering the ups and downs of the intensive treatment programs that were described before, there is no possibility for the cellular adaptation. Thus, the treatment can be continued until the complete destruction of cancerous cells. Conclusion The complete treatment program of the cancerous cells should include all types of cancerous cells. It has been already explained that cancer is a chromosomal disease. Wavelength of the chromosomes is unique for each living being. As a result, the cancer is unique for every living being. Also, it was mentioned that the cancerous cells do not follow a specific pattern to divide. So, new cells are created with each division. It means if a living being has 500 million cancerous cells, the cells could almost be 500 million types of cancerous cells. Thus, the diversity of cancerous cells is the number of cancerous cells multiplied by cancer patients. The number will be astronomical. So the enormous complexity and difficulty of this disease and its treatment are revealed. For successful cancer control, the treatment plan must have very broad operating range in order to cover all cancerous cells. To have a better understanding of the issue, I will describe one of the bioelectromagnetic cancer treatment programs of Vardil Iman Ali Scientific Institute of Cellular Balance in Austria. Plan number 12-3 for treatment of compound cancers can have 6 to 18 stages. Each stage usually takes one day, and all of them take 6 to 18 days. Phase 1 77 negative programs, multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 0.7 times per second, multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds, plus 77 positive programs, multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 0.7 time per second, multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds, equals the total number of the first phase of treatment operations, 28,245,324,800 in 4,094 seconds. Phase 2. 77 positive programs, multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 7 times per second, multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds, plus 77 negative programs, multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 7 times per second, multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds, equals the total number of the second phase of treatment operations, 282,453,248,000 in 4,094 seconds. Phase 3. 77 negative programs, multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 70 times per second, multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds, plus 77 positive programs, multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 70 times per second, multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds, equals the total number of the third phase of treatment operations, 2,824,532,840,000 in 4,094 seconds. Phase 4. 77 positive programs multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 700 times per second, multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds, plus 77 negative programs, multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 700 times per second, multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds, equals the total number of the fourth phase of treatment operations, 28,245,328,400,000 in 4,094 seconds. Phase 5. 
77 negative programs multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands multiplied by 7,000 times per second multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds plus 77 positive programs multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands multiplied by 7,000 times per second multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds equals the total number of the fifth phase of treatment operations. 282 trillion, 453 billion, 284 million in 4,094 seconds. Phase six, 77 positive programs multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands, multiplied by 70,000 times per second, multiplied by seven to 42 seconds plus 77 negative programs multiplied by 64,000 bioelectromagnetic commands multiplied by 70,000 times per second multiplied by 7 to 42 seconds equals the total number of the sixth phase of treatment operations 2 quadrillion 824 trillion 532 billion 840 million in 4094 seconds the total number of the operations in six stages 3 quadrillion, 138 trillion, 366 billion, 773 million, 812,800. The total operation time in six stages, 409.4 minutes. So, the 18 stages of treatment can be performed and the number of operations in each stage can be increased and decreased until the desired results are achieved. To have a better understanding of the effectiveness of the program, it is necessary to mention that one of the participating patients who suffered from brain tumor was completely cured three years ago with less than 50,000 operations. We can fight and stop all cancerous cells in all stages through employing our huge scientific capabilities. <laughs>